Dozens of fires continue to rage in the western United States and Canada, causing thousands of residents to evacuate. One of those fires now in the record books, that so-called Park Fire, now the fifth largest in California history. Aerial and ground crews have been working to get folks to safety and extinguish the flames. Thousands of firefighters now are battling this one, believed to have been started by arson. The last update had that Park Fire 14% contained with almost 200 structures destroyed. And as those western wildfires continue to burn, our Megan Zielinski joins us live with more on how the air quality is being impacted right here at home. Good morning, Megan. Good morning, Mark Tracy. We'll take a look. I have airnow.gov pulled up here behind me, and it's one way that we can track what our air quality is like here at home. And right now we are seeing good air quality, but that may not be the case later today. Take a look. It says today, tomorrow, over the next few days, they're predicting a moderate air quality, and I can con continue to look at this forecast as I scroll down the website. Today we're going to see a moderate air quality and it's important to be monitoring this. I spoke to some health officials that say as big as the world is, it's actually pretty small and connected when it comes to the ability of these irritants and pollution to move around. And while these wildfires are burning debris and particulate matter is going up into the atmosphere, and it is possible for us here in Erie PA to see the impact of some of these wildfires, even though they're happening over out west. And right now we are seeing some of those clear levels, but we might see some more moderate levels later today. So I spoke to Dr. Joseph Wawain, who's a pulmonary specialist with AHN St. Vincent, and he tells me that there's varying degrees of severity when it comes to who is impacted by our air quality. So moderate may not seem so bad to some people, but to others, it could be more severe. For somebody without, you know, lung disease or some sort of lung condition, you know, it might cause a cough or some irritation, but for somebody with an underlying health condition, those little particulate matter pieces can really cause, you know, serious inflammation and exacerbation of some sort of underlying condition. This is what, this is what we tell our patients with asthma and COPD. Stay inside, close the windows, avoid exposure. And actually, air filters, HEPA filters can help as well inside the house. If they do develop some minor symptoms, the minor symptoms are generally like itchy eyes, runny nose, cough. Uh, saline nasal sprays can help with that. Interesting, drinking water can make a difference too, because it actually thins the secretions and makes it a little bit easier to get up. Well, these conditions are constantly changing and coming up. Dakota Hunter will have more on the future cast and what we're going to see over the next few days. Plus, for those of us that are trying to enjoy those last few weeks of summer, we may be going out and traveling. So coming up at 630, I'll talk about how you can monitor this air quality anywhere that you may travel to. From the studio, Megan Selensky, Erie News Now.